This parable has had many different titles through the years. Of course, there's the prodigal son, but it has also been called the lost son, two sons, and even the running father. But perhaps Jesus' listeners would have called it the foolish father. The way that the father handled his wayward son was completely against the logic of tradition of first century Judaism. First, by asking for his inheritance while his father was living, the youngest son was implying that he wished his father were dead. The father should have been furious at the request, but he divided up the inheritance instead. Second, when the father gave his son his share of the inheritance, cattle, crop, and whatever other goods is consisted of, the son sold it took the money and ran with it. This was not just an insult, but a financial blow of his father. Even if the father were to divide his estate before his death, his sons would not have been allowed to sell anything until after he had passed away. The father still needed to live, after all. The fact that the father ran to greet his son would also have been shocking to Jesus' listeners. It was considered undignified for a mature man to be chasing after his son like that. As patriarchal as Jewish society was, children always come to their fathers, not the other way around. So it would have been scandalous for the father to humiliate himself before his ungrateful son. Finally, when the father killed the fatted calf and threw a big party, he was indirectly using the eldest son's inheritance. There was nothing else left to use. No wonder the older boy was angry. Jesus used the father's outlandish behavior to highlight the depth of God's mercy. It's almost illogical that way our Heavenly Father forgives us over and over again. It's scandalous the way he lavishes us with undeserved treasures, but this is our God and his love for us is real. Today try to imagine God racing toward you, his robes hiked up and his face filled with anticipation. Doesn't it make you want to run to him?